witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we are unboxing a very exciting Japanese snack subscription box. I have never opened one of these before. This is called Sakurako and I cannot wait. So a big shout out and a thank you to Sakurako for sponsoring this video. So what is Sakurako? It's a monthly Japanese snack subscription box and it's full of 19 traditional authentic artisan snacks. And the one bit that I'm personally most excited for, one kitchenware item. I do love me some homeware. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in the world because these are delivered directly to your door all the way from Japan. And not only that, it's all curated to provide you guys with authentic Japanese sweets, snacks, tea, and more from local makers in Japan every month. So, if you guys like the sound of Sakurako and enjoy what you see in today's video, as per usual, I've got you covered with some discount. If you guys use the code CHERRY, this will get you $5 off your first order. Be sure to check the link out in the description down below. Oh, and be sure to sign up by February 28th to get this month's box because the theme is afternoon tea. This means that you can have your very own Hanami picnic from home. And that sounds very, very exciting to me. I'm a big fan of afternoon tea, so I'm very, very looking forward to that. Right, I think it's time that we dive straight on into this box and open my very first Sakurako. I'm very excited. So as per usual, if you are brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to be part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because uh, it's snack time, baby. Okay then, I'm so excited. Firstly, actually, before I open this box, can we just talk about the design of it? It's a very aesthetically pleasing box. We've got some gold on there with some falling blossom. It's very, very pretty. When it arrived, I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute. So let's get into it. I am ready to snack. <laughs> I'm always ready to snack, let's not lie. Okay then, so let's have a little look. Ooh, let's talk about that. Ooh, look at all our snacks, so many snacks. Okay, let's talk about what was on top. So with each Sakurako box, you get a little magazine and this is their cultural guide. So this will give you information of all the snacks inside. So we're definitely gonna be referring to this. And it also has a lot of information about Japan culture, which I think is really cool. Before we dive into the snacks, let's have a look at the little bits and pieces that were on top of the box. So we've got a very, cool Japanese piece of artwork here. Nice little, nice little print. And on the back it says, Spring greetings, Sakurako family. The blooming flowers of March signal a time of change and rebirth in Japan. March is often a time where people prepare to start a new chapter in their lives. Guys, I'm very much starting a new chapter of my own at the moment, so... That feels good. <laughs> Many schools and universities host their graduation ceremonies during this time, and there are lots of opportunities to come together and celebrate with food and drink under the Sakura during Hanami events. March holds a special place in my heart too, with this month marking the one year anniversary of Sakura Co. Oh, happy anniversary! I truly cannot express how grateful I am to all of our Sakura Co family members, both new and old for enjoying a year of authentic Japanese snacks with us. You remain our biggest source of inspiration and I'm so excited for the new experience we'll have together over the coming year, including this month's Sakura inspired afternoon tea. <gasps> very, very exciting. So this is the afternoon tea box. I cannot wait. <laughs> okay, so here is the Sakura Co afternoon tea snack guide. So this is March 2022. Too, so make sure you get your orders in soon and I don't want spoilers we'll get to that when we get to our snacks right I'm ready I don't know what to start with first it all looks very beautiful I think I'm going to start oh my god guys there are so <gasps> spoilers but they are, are so many snacks inside here so 
let's get started then. The first one is a Sakura sweet bread. Here it is. We've got the very beautiful blossom on there and it's pink. Okay, I'm ready. It smells like a sweet bread. I mean, you'd hope it's a sweet bread. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's very soft. <laughs> Let's just peel a little bit off and have a look inside. Oh, this looks so soft. Okay. Oh my goodness. That genuinely might be one of the nicest breads I have ever eaten. It's got a light pink color inside. This is just so exciting to me. I love experiencing new snacks from Japan. It's one of my favorite things. It's just so much fun experiencing brand new textures, brand new flavors, things that we don't necessarily get to try. Oh, it's so good. That is, it gets a five out of five. Mm delicious so let's find the bread in here okay so here it is on the little guidebook and oh my goodness okay so it says tokyo bread and sakurako have worked hard together to bring you this exclusive sakura sweet bread experimenting with many recipes until we could find the perfect balance of sakura flavor and color now this excited me because I've never seen anything like this and I don't even know what to do with this. This is a Sakura jelly. Like, it's an actual jelly and this actual blossom in there. Look, can you see the blossom just suspended in the jelly? I've never seen anything like it. I need to read about this. Okay, so Sakura jelly, it contains traces of apple peach. Oh, it's gonna be fruity. Apple peach and kiwi fruits. Refreshing and elegant. I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. Maru. Sakura Ko exclusive Japanese jelly is filled with cherry blossoms and cherry blossom flavor. Enjoy the flavors of spring season in this spring treat that is perfect for sharing. I don't have a spoon. And, but look at that, we've got to, I've got to go get a spoon. Or, can I be a heathen and try it out of the packet? I think I might be able to. <gasps> look at those blossoms, my mind is blown. Okay, I am, I'm gonna try a little bit out of the packet. Well, it's definitely jelly. It's a very subtle flavor. It's very interesting. I've never tried anything like it. It's very beautifully presented as well. I'm definitely gonna put this in my fridge so I can actually put it into some sort of cup or a little mini bowl and experience it later on. But yes, it is a jelly. What have we got next? Okay, let's have a look at this packet. We have got cherry blossom trees all over it. Let's see what this could be. It's firm. I think it might be some sort of like a rice cake maybe. Oh, wow, look at that. Mmm, it smells, it definitely smells savoury. Let's look this up. Okay, so this is a spring senbi and it says mixing sweet and spicy to create an umami flavour. I think that's how it's pronounced. This crispy fried rice cracker is flavoured with a sweet and savoury soy sauce, a delicious Japanese light snack. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Oh my God, my senses have exploded. That crisp, that crunch. Listen. Mm, I love crispy things. The flavor is divine. I can't even compare this to anything. It's very crunchy, it's really... It's just got an intense, like, really enjoyable flavor. Definitely savory. I could eat a whole packet of these over the course of like a week, maybe even like an evening. Mm. Okay then, so let's move on. We've got so much left in our box. Like, look how much stuff there is. I'm excited to see what is inside there. I'm guessing that's our kitchenware item. So this is a packet, it says tea picking, and it says cherry blossoms on it. What is this? I think these might be things to go with a tea, like some little, little biscuits. Let's have a look. <gasps> These are really pretty. Can you see? Look at those. Look at that texture. There's a kind of light green color on there. They haven't got too much scent. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was two. They're stuck together. I think they're meant to be together. So this says, Beloved Shizuoka-based tea producer has worked with Sakuroko to create an exclusive Sakura version of their famed Dakois, known for the unique combination of crispy outer layer that surrounds a flavorful and elegant soft center. Okay, I felt the soft center. Let's give it a whirl. <gasps> Guys, look at how pretty that is. I am shook by the vibrant green inside. Mmm, that's really nice. I tell you what, I've got to give it to Japan for their really delicate, but I wouldn't say intense, they're delicate flavours, but they pack a punch, like you experience the flavour. It's like really weird, but they're absolutely beautiful. We just don't get stuff like this. This is so nice. Okay, okay. I'll give that a four out of five. <laughs> Very good. I think the snack... I'm getting crumbs everywhere. Look at all my crumbs, guys. I'm just leaving them there. It's fine. <laughs> Let's see what this is. I think we have experienced one of these before. I've seen how these are made. They're layers of tiny, tiny, thin layers of cake. It's quite special how they make them. You can see the layers. It's kind of like a tree. If you were to cut a tree trunk, you can see all the rings. Smells delicious. So this is exclusively made for Sakura Co. It's for the spring season and it says FDI's moist and sweet bon kuchen. Probably pronounced that wrong. Has the fragrant aroma and elegant flavor accent of Japan, Japanese cherry blossoms and a truly unique and fluffy Japanese cake experience. Now these cakes are extremely soft. I'll show you the inside. I'll just break it. There's the inside. And they're just so soft. And the fluff, fluffy is the perfect word. That's very pleasant. There's like a very, very gentle, subtle. It's the, th the thing that came to mind was amaretto, which is a liqueur. These aren't liqueurs, but I think it's the almond that I can taste because that's what that's made from. And I love amaretto. That's very nice. If you like almonds and you like fluffy cakes, you will love that oh my god okay let's get these out because these the shape and color of these reminds me of a kiwi fruit they're definitely not kiwis but how adorable and we get three of them so that means that there's more to share what are you here's your little close-up it's a little round thing it looks cool okay so these are sakura manju manju are often a popular choice of sweet during the spring season thanks to their light and fluffy texture i'm all about these light and fluffy spring textures let me tell you inside the steamed buns i love a steamed bun I do, big steam bun fan. You'll find a delicious sakura infused sweet bean jam that contrasts the savory outer layer. Okay. Hmm, I mean, it does kind of smell sweet on the outside as well. Let's see what the middle looks like. There's the middle, matches my cardigan. <laughs> okay. Hmm, oh, okay. So the inside of these is very sweet and it definitely complements the outer layer which isn't as sweet but that's an it's a very strange sensation to go into the sweetness in the middle but it's very nice and it is soft oh, that's very nice oh my god <laughs> there's still so much okay let's go for something in these pink packets there are two which is always nice. This is a shrimp and red wine senbei. It says a mature senbei with a delicious combination of flavors combining the sweetness of sugar and the savory flavors of wine and shrimp. This crispy snack shows a new side of Japanese snacks. Let's open it on up. I can smell shrimp. Now, fortunately, I'm not allergic to shrimp and I am quite fond of it. This is what the snack looks like. I have broken it a little bit. So we get two of these. Ooh, mm. another crunchy texture, which I like. 
The flavour, I don't like. You can definitely taste the hints of wine. I don't like wine and I think that's probably why. But I think if you were a red wine fan, you might like these. They're definitely not for me. But that's okay, that's the whole fun of opening these boxes, is discovering new things that you do like and new things that maybe you would never have tried before because I would never have tried these ever. So that's exciting. I'm definitely going to give the other one to a friend to try. What is next? These are intriguing me. We have got a packet here and it has these teeny tiny little, I'm not sure what they are yet, but they are in the shape of cherry blossoms. Can you see the shapes? We'll get some out in a mere moment. This says that they are Sakura Arare. Bite-sized cherry blossom crackers accented with chopped nori. These soy sauce flavored treats are perfect for a light and crispy snack at a Hanami party. I'm ready to picnic. Ooh, these smell interesting. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute they are. Oh my God. Let's, um, ooh. Mm. This box is coming all out with the crunch. They're very pleasant. I can see me having these in a snack bowl in my kitchen, just to grab, share with friends when they're around. And the shape of them are just so delightful. Like, look at that. I love the novelty of that. I give those maybe a three out of five. They are very pleasant. I've got a sweet tooth, just so you know, but they are nice. I am leaving the kitchenware item till last. Let's see what these are. So these are, oh, a sweet green cookie. And we have got two of these, more to share. I do like green tea and it does, <laughs> it is very green. Look, green tea cookie. Doesn't have much of a scent. You can tell it's sweet. Mmm, Oh. More crunch. I mean, this should be called the crunch box, really, shouldn't it? <laughs> that flavor's good. Shizuoka is a hot spot for tea in Japan, and the source of the tea used in this crispy treat from Izumi Busan, the bitter flavor perfectly contrasts the sweetness of sakura. Mm, look at that green. It's just, I wish they'd sent a packet of those. <laughs> five out of five. Mm. I want to know what these are next because these are a very strange shape. There's two as well, so one for you and one to share with a friend or both for yourself because treat yourself. Okay, so these are, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but um, these are matcha cookies. And it says, a confectionery highly popular in its native Kyoto. The rolled crispy base holds a sweet Uji matcha cream inside. A harmonious blend between crispy outer layer, bitter matcha, and sweet cream. Okay, I love these packets. There's that bright green they like. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. These remind me of these curl biscuits that I used to have from m &S growing up the way that they're rolled, anyway. Okay. You guys know I'm gonna say it. The crunch, the crunch! Look at that filling. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I have no words. That was very good. The center of that was the lightest, fluffiest. It was almost like a really light, fluffy marshmallow texture, but it was a cream inside a very crunchy matcha biscuit. I'm not gonna be able to pick like my favorites. Tea! Oh, this is going straight into my tea collection. Yes, it is. So this is Sencha Green Tea, and it is a tea bag, and they very kindly gave us two. And this one says, noted for its combination of bold and umami flavors, Sencha is a refreshing tea for chilly early spring mornings, produced in Kyoto, known for superior tea production. This is an elegant Sencha tea to bring the full flavor of the tea, brew the tea, in boiled water to 100 degrees. However, if you prefer a more mild flavor, enjoy it with water heated roughly 70 to 80 degrees. So that's interesting. The flavors change depending on the temperature of the water. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I am a big fan of green teas. So I, I will look forward to those. What else have we got in here? I can see something that's pink. This feels like it's gonna be a very kind of squishy, cookie of some sort but it's pink and it's cute this is oh, a strawberry cookie now we're talking this is a 
award-winning cookie and it lives up to its name the your oh what's that word your arakai meaning soft in japanese it says the soft texture of this cookie is only second to its sweet flavor that combines rich white chocolate and fruity strawberry now i know that japan and their flavors are extremely on point so i have got high hopes for this little cookie oh so soft it's crumbling so here is the cookie let's give it i mean i've gone to a different like dimension that's the best thing in the box and there's some good things in there oh my god <laughs> ah mm. i'm gonna eat the whole thing that is honestly that's the best cookie i've ever had in my life and i'm not over exaggerating the white chocolate is so present and that's my favorite chocolate by the way and the strawberry mm, 10 out of 10 and nobody were rating out five but this deserves five extra points <laughs> i am saving the rest as soon as i finish this video i'm eating that first okay let's talk about this so we've got a little pot it's got very beautiful artwork on the front what is this is this like another jelly is it a tea is it what do we do oh no it's a peach jelly i love peach this box is slaying me okay no i have to get a spoon be right back oh she's got the spoon okay so firstly look at this beautiful picture of it and it says upon opening the package you'll be greeted with the aroma of fresh peaches filled with peach pulp giving it an unforgettable texture the refreshing flavor this japanese peach jelly from renowned jelly makers of mori mori haku is not to be missed oh okay come to mama she likes peaches and she likes jelly Okay, <gasps> it doesn't want me to open it. Yes, you do. <gasps> Come on. Wow, wow. <gasps> okay, okay, we're in. Look at that wobble. <laughs> Let's get some on a spoon. I can see a peach piece at the bottom as well. Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, now I can't choose what the best thing is, that strawberry cookie or this. Okay, this gets 11 out of 10. That is a mighty fine jelly. That is just so good. I wasn't expecting a jelly pot. Like, the thought of everything, you've got breads, we've got cookies, we've got jellies, we've got teas, we've got savoury snacks and biscuits and bread. Like, there's just so much in this box. And that's going next to the strawberry cookie because that's going to be my lunch. Speaking of cookies, these might be crackers, actually. There's two. They look very crispy. Very crispy. I'm excited for the crunch. Okay, then. Let's talk about the last food item in this box i feel like we've been through an absolute feast and a buffet it's been quite the picnic guys so it says before the sakura blooms we often see the ume plum blossoms bloom inspired by this we selected this crispy senbei with uniquely sweet and sour flavor the result of using plums grown in japan's kishu region i can see in fact let me just show you how pretty this is because there's little specks in like a plum color it's definitely savory i think <sighs> mm. oh wow a new flavor has been unlocked they're savory they're sweet but they're sour and boy does it go well together it's so crispy I wish you guys could taste this because, I mean, you can. Head to the description down below. Get $5 off your first Sakura Co order and get this box because it's a very good one. Those are like spring in a cracker. I don't know how they think of these things, but that does taste like spring. It makes me want to mow my lawn. Okay, I guess this leaves us to our last item. Look, box is empty. This leaves us with the kitchenware. No spoilers on the box. It's just a white box. And you guys know what I say on this channel. Say it with me. Good things come in small boxes. Um, okay, what? <gasps> Good things do come in small boxes. This is adorable. <gasps> guys look at that 
look at the design there is a lot of blossom on there and it says sacre coeur and it's a very beautiful glass and it says unfortunately it's not dishwasher or microwave friendly but it does say that hanami is an unmissable event in japan sharing a drink with friends old and new under the cherry blossoms is a time honored tradition explore it too with this unique glass a one-of-a-kind japanese sake glass made exclusively for sakurako adorned with falling cherry blossoms and mixed with the luxurious gold accents welcome spring and enjoy a refreshing drink that's so beautiful I cannot wait to put that into my kitchen cupboard I think adding a kitchenware into a box like this is such a lovely idea I wonder what will be in their future crates because that's just a really lovely thing and I love I just love the design of it and I don't have a glass like it because I don't have a sake glass but that's so beautiful and I love it so let's take a little closer look at the Sacroco snack guide so we've been through all of the snacks it has a lovely picture of all the snacks that we've just received and it's warm spring greetings with the cherry blossoms heralding the arrival of spring japan is getting ready for the tradition of hanami cherry blossom viewing it is a time of getting together with friends and family and sharing food and drink under a cherry tree after the cold winter months. Hanami is a centuries old tradition that celebrates the blossoms of the Sakura cherry tree as a metaphor for life itself, bright and beautiful yet also fleeting. With the blossoms lasting only about two weeks, people all around Japan pay close attention to the weather to time their gatherings just right. This month we wanted to invite you to have a springtime Sakura afternoon tea of your own with our sakura themed japanese sweets tableware and tea join us in welcoming spring under the cherry blossoms that's lovely we've got a maker highlight and it even shows us like how some of the things are made so that's going on about the glass that we've got in our box there's a lot to read in here obviously i can't read it all to you but you'll really enjoy it when you get a crate of your own so yeah there's a lot in the guide and it's definitely something that would be perfect to read while sitting down trying one of your new teas that you get in the box and enjoying some of the snacks so that is it as per usual i would love to hear your thoughts does this get you excited to try the sakurako snack box because i love snack subscriptions and i've got to say this one was good like really good to the point i think my parents are gonna want to subscribe to this one because they always love the snacks that i end up bringing them this was just delightful there was so much new stuff and i just loved the variety i do recommend it i think these would also make a beautiful gift to somebody if anyone's got a birthday coming up and you're unsure what to get them or if they're really hard to buy for i would recommend this because i think this would be perfect get a subscription to sakurako leave the links down below so go check them out for yourself but honestly I would just be buying this for me because I love the snacks and they're very very nice so thank you very much for watching thank you again to Sakurako for sponsoring this video I have really enjoyed filming it and snacking you guys know that I'm a snacking queen and yeah if you got this far in the video then hey you're cool give this video a magical thumbs up and I will see you guys next time wow I've got so many snacks uh, right, I'm gonna finish this jelly now because it was exceptional. Mmm! Oh my god, that's so good. Mmm! -hmm. Oh my god, the little peach in the bottom! Heaven! Okay, I'm going. I've got snacking to do. Bye!